Why don't all people believe in Jesus? That's a good question. Here at the Salvation Army, if you haven't already noticed, we do believe in Jesus. He is the cornerstone, the foundation of our faith. Our hope, our joy, our life, and salvation are found in Jesus. We believe that He is Lord. But you may have also noticed by now that not everyone believes the same things that we do. Maybe you have friends or maybe even family who don't believe that Jesus is who He says He is. Maybe they don't think anything about Jesus at all. Why is that? Well, there could be lots of reasons why people don't believe. There are just about seven and a half billion people in the world right now. Many of them know Jesus and many of them don't. Or as I like to think of it, many of them don't know Him yet. Since the beginning of time, people have been trying to figure things out. How the sun works, where the rain comes from, even what life is about, and why we are here. Sometimes people have done that by trying to know God and love Him, and some by trying to figure it out apart from Him. Even in the story of creation, Adam and Eve had a choice to make, and it's the same for everyone, even you and me. If you read through the Old Testament, you'll read about how God made a covenant, a sacred promise to His children, the Israelites. But you'll also read about people who rejected God. Then when Jesus came, there were people who heard His message and followed, and others who rejected it. We don't know who has changed and how, but people made choices. When Jesus rose from the dead and appeared to His disciples and then crowds of people, something amazing happened. People were witnesses, which means they saw it and they could tell about what they saw. And the story of the gospel of Jesus spread. But it didn't just spread because lots of people wanted to believe. Part of the reason it spread was because the followers of Jesus were being attacked, so they had to run. The people attacking them didn't want to believe. They wanted to hold power, so they made a choice. When those believers spread out, they took the good news with them, and their witness, powered by the Holy Spirit, spread all over, anywhere they went. And so more people believed that Jesus was Lord. But it's important to remember that there were people all over the world already, and the story of Jesus took a while to get out. Remember, there was no TV or internet back then. There wasn't even a telegraph. So all of the people who lived far away from what we now call the Middle East, they believed other things, and they passed those things down from generation to generation. So sometimes what people believe has a lot to do with where they grew up. This is true for you and me too. That's nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, we can be thankful that we live somewhere where it's a lot easier to find other Jesus followers to be with. And even here, we always have a choice. Remember these guys? Sometimes it can seem weird or maybe even scary to think about how much Jesus loves us. And yet, there are people who don't believe or don't even want to believe. You may even meet people who used to believe but don't anymore. And that can be hard to hear. But God has a vision for His creation. Remember what it says in John 3, 16 and 17, that God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. It might be hard sometimes to live that out with people who don't agree with us, but Jesus came for them every bit as much as He came for us. And so here at the Salvation Army, we continue to love our neighbors every way we can.